better part of 40 years, it was universally agreed that the mecca of bodybuilding was in a faraway land of sand, surf, and endless summer days, where you could work out in the sun and train amongst the world's best. Recently, another gym has attracted attention as the epicenter of bodybuilding, the East Coast Mecca. The best of the best have come to Syosset, New York, leaving their sweat on the floor and their heart in the iron. This is Bev Francis' powerhouse gym. I'm Big Ron Partlow, and this is Mutant on a Mission. I think I know who this belongs to. The East Coast Mecca, the Francis Powerhouse Gym, Syosset, New York. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Big Ron, what's going on, baby? Yeah, I didn't know if you'd uh, know who I was. Figured I'd better say hi. Definitely, welcome yeah. to Beth Francis Powerhouse. Yeah, you bet, man. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. It's uh, uh, you know, one of the gyms I've always wanted to train at for, you know, all the years I've been bodybuilding, and ever since you started hearing about it in the magazines when I was a kid, so I'm happy to be here now. Well, it's our pleasure to have you here. Yeah, man. you bet, man. Yeah. Three-time Olympia champion, right? That's right, four-time New York pro champ. Four-time New York pro champ, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to, uh, we want to have a look at the place, and okay. uh, you know, here's some of the stories. I imagine you got some stories, eh? Yeah, I have a couple of funny stories uh, to tell yeah, you. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll start at one end and go to the other. Okay, sure, let's start at this end. Okay, okay as we're walking down, this is the cardiovascular section, and then this is our MMA area. How long has this okay. been in the gym? This has been in the gym roughly for, I want to say, six years or so. Right, okay. That's cool. So that must bring a lot more diverse crowd in as well, because you got all the MMA guys coming yeah, in to train It definitely as well. does, you know, especially with the rise of the UFC. Well, by the looks of the wall, this place has been open a while, so why don't you give us the, uh, the history? When did it open? Sure, we opened um, August of 86. So we've been around for 29 years. Even when I was a little kid, I heard about this gym. And even though it's a hardcore, it has a hardcore atmosphere, I'm not gonna say it's a hardcore gym, only because we have all different types of people that come to this facility. You know, it's more of a family atmosphere. What's, uh, what's the oldest picture on the wall, do you know? Are they all mixed um, up? They're, all, they're pretty much all mixed up, but as you will see, like the whole gym is covered with pictures. Steve Weinberger and Beth Francis are the owners of the gym. They're like my, my adopted parents. Steve's a wonderful person. He's also a head judge of, um, in the IFBB. Beth Francis is six-time world champion powerlifter. She was never defeated in any competition. She also placed as high as um, second in the Miss Olympia, which I always feel that she should have won. Uh, several times she was you know, in the top two, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah. You know, and I feel she should have won several times. You know, she was... She was ahead yeah, of her time. Way ahead of her time. I mean, way, way ahead of her time. As you can see, the gym is pretty huge. We have over 30,000 square feet. Everything's broken down to body parts. And you train here every day? Yes, I, I train every single day. No days off for Kevin English? No days off. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a wide range of equipment, you know, which is great. We have all different types of Smith machines here with different angles. Yeah. So some are a little bit heavier than others. Some of the angles are a little bit different. What about these plates? <laughs> The famous Ben Francis yes. 45 pound plates. Yes, these are the famous plates. They say 45, <laughs> but they're really like anywhere between 47 to 49 pounds. Right. You know? Because I've always heard the legend that weights are heavier at Ben Francis. Mm -hmm. There's no point having an ego here when, you know, Dorian did contest preps here and Ronnie's trained here and the, you know, the top mm -hmm. NFL guys are trained here. It kind of takes, uh, there's no use having an ego when you're surrounded by so many guys that are world champions. You exactly. know what I mean? Is that exactly. kind of how the that's gym is? That's exactly how it is. You yeah. know, there's no ego training here. <laughs> <laughs> and I see the Wall of Fame still oh, going. It, yeah, it, it the goes never, around the whole gym. It's never, never ending. <laughs> never ending. Over here is Man. all chest. On Monday, this is the most crowded area in the gym, right? For your inter international chest day? Isn't that how it goes? That's not just uh, Canada, is it? It's the whole world. The whole world. 
This is the famous leg room. You know, for the young guys watching who, who haven't heard all the stories about Bev's, I've always heard about the leg room at Bev Francis Gym and how much work gets done there, so this is it. I always say a gym is only as good as its leg equipment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. dumbbells are dumbbells, a flat bench is a flat bench, you, know, you can train anywhere, right? I'm yeah. sure you've trained in some shitholes, right? Yep. But when you get a gym that has a, a, a leg area that's equipped with multiple leg presses and different brands of extensions, and especially when you get, you get old like me, and you're older than me. <laughs> when you get old like us, I find like one extension will hurt my knees and then another brand won't. Right. So you, you got to have that variety of equipment, you know? We and we definitely have it here. You name it, we have it. Now this oh. Nebula line of leg stuff, this is the Nebula hack squat. Right. And I'm always telling my friends about the Nebula leg yeah. press for guys who it's, haven't trained on yeah, it. Yeah, it's so smooth. Probably like the smoothest piece of machinery you ever use. Right, and it yeah. never hurts my knees, yeah. never hurts anything. The, the angles are just amazing. Two yeah. vertical leg presses, mm -hmm. not just one. Which one, do you, when, which one do you guys use? I use the one that he's on. I prefer right. that one better. Just the, I like the angle, right. a little less stress on my knees. Okay, that one looks yeah. older too. Hey, older's better? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Not many gyms have standing calf raises with even 300 pound stacks anymore. <laughs> in fact, a lot of gyms don't even have standing calf raise, <laughs> right? But this is, uh, this is quite a setup. Because Ben and Steve are so involved into the sport, you know, they really care about like the equipment they would get in the facility. So you must have a full-time maintenance guy. Um, we do, his name is Gus. <laughs> His name is Gus? Gus. <laughs> is Gus here pretty much every day or every week? He's here every day working out. Um, to tell you the truth, the machines really don't break down. You know, it's not like you go to a lot of gyms, you know, people just banging stuff around. It doesn't get abused. Everyone has respect for the equipment. They have respect for their fellow members. Like we're walking around, like you, don't, you won't see like weights on the floor. Well, people, I was going to say there wasn't you know, any dumbbells that weren't put away. No, people know, you know, when you finish using something, you rack it back. You're strong enough to take it off the rack, you're strong enough to put it back on the rack. Yeah. Do you remember when people started referring to this as the East Coast Mecca? Like yeah. Like that would have evolved over time, right? It did, you know, and especially I would say like over the last five years or so, like a, maybe even a little, a little bit longer, a lot of people said, you know what, well, you know, Venice used to be the Mecca, but this is really like the Mecca. Like everyone travels all over the world just to come here. Like just a perfect example, yesterday we had a few um, individuals coming from Ireland, you know, and the first place they went to come and visit was Beth Francis Powerhouse Gym. I think we're going to hit a workout, aren't we? Definitely. Is that the rumor? That's the rumor, man. We're going to hey. knock out some chest and tries. You train with a little guy like me? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Starting with some uh, Incline Smith machine presses, supersetted with something. Kevin's got some superset workout masterminded, so. Three, four, 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 five, four, six. Four. Straight into the fly. Okay. Bring these out like a hot board. There we go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 11, 12. So this is a high volume, higher rep, squeezing workout that he does. It's his second chest hit of the week. I'm just gonna do his workout because you know how it is with me. Two, three, four, five, nope. five, six, seven. He has a, a heavy day and a light day for every body part. So today was his lighter chest workout. He doesn't quite go to like, you know, blasting failure on everything, but he's just trying to 15. ram blood into everything and contract 14. the shit out of it and stretch it. And 15. Good yeah. job. Great job. What about the 25s? Are they actually 30s? 28. 28? <laughs> They're all heavier. Okay, we're gonna try it for a couple. If I can't do one, just cut it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh, I can't. I can't it. do it. <laughs> Bam. Oh. 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 Sometimes you have partners that either rush you too much or either they talk to too many other people while you're trying to do your set or either they don't know how to spot you correctly. He was right on with everything, so it was great. You know, everything went really smooth. 
squeeze the shit out of the pecs, man. He's using a pretty narrow grip, but it's because at the top he's getting a huge contraction. You guys uh, watch all the mutant videos and you've seen all my stuff. Bang. You know that I usually do like full contraction reps on everything, but I'm doing what Kevin's doing today. He tends to press without the lockout, but then on the superset movement, he's bringing it right out. So you're still getting the squeeze. One more. Let's do it up, baby. Let's do it up. I go to failure on everything and just like force reps on everything. So doing a pump workout, it's like, it's like a feel. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's good because it flushes all the nutrients into the muscle, keeps that muscle full at the same time. Without tearing it down too much. Right, without tearing it down too much so you can still be able to recuperate fast enough to do that heavy workout. I'm literally just along for the ride. There's a lot of exercises, a lot of sets. Uh, 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 Easy. Uh, uh, last one. Ten. Oh, and uh, 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 Thanks. Lock that shit out. Woo. My little punchy body is freaking pumped. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Boom. Tight fit. You're five five two fifty. It's a little hard to squeeze into things sometimes. Yeah, buddy. Nice. Everyone knows English, England, Great Britain, royalty, royalty drinks tea. Therefore, iced tea. <laughs> I usually drink probably, I say almost close to two gallons of sweetened iced tea a day. Three, four, five. The Smith machine itself is about 15 degrees, so you corrected for that. I mean, this is a very high incline. It's not quite a military press, but it's definitely a high incline. See my big ass can get in here. There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go. Light chest. And once we started training, it was just like he treated me like an equal, you know. Um, it wasn't like he was Mr. O and I was some guy that came in to train with him. It was. You know, he treated me like I was one of his training partners. Anytime you get to share, you know, your experiences with others, you know, something you're passionate about, it's definitely a great thing. You know me, I'm always up for an adventure when it comes to going to the gym, you know, so I got to train with Kevin English today and we did a bunch of stuff I'd never do. So that's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's a good day at work. Well, that's it for another episode of Mutant on a Mission. It's been fantastic coming to Ben Francis Powerhouse and training. I want to thank Kevin English and Steve Weinberger for their hospitality. Join us our next episode of Mutant on a Mission from Muscle Gym in Cologne, Germany. Even on Mutant on a Mission, you run into a mutant. What's up guys, how you doing? How's your workout going? <laughs> Not quite even thought of, but I got it. Champions are made. Uh, I can come up with something better now. You got me talking, that's what matters. Let's do it another couple times, okay? Let me do it, let me do it one more time. Champions from around the world. These walls have seen it all. Think you could work with one of those?